Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome along to another episode of Draw with Mikey. Yes, it is fucking hot. If any of you guys are living in the UK from England, then you'll know that there's a heat wave going on at the moment, and Jesus Christ, everything is sweaty now. I can't sleep for shit. All the doors and windows are open, like thieves are just going to take everything. I can't stop them. I'm just too hot to care. It's it's incredible. It's it's lovely, lovely weather. But um, we don't have air conditioning in my office. We just have fans that blow hotter air into my miserable face. So good times, everybody. Good bloody times. It's very English to uh, complain about the weather. Anyway, enough of that. If you guys are new to the series, new to the channel, welcome along. Draw with Mikey. It's a Wednesday thing. It's super casual, sweary, full of spoilers. Uh, no one really cares. And it's just an opportunity for me to catch up with you guys and see what's going on. Lots of comments to read through. I will read most of them, perhaps not all, in an attempt to really boil down this episode to make it fairly quick whilst drawing something in a sketchbook. So you guys at home, if you've got some art homework or bits to crack on with, get your own artwork done. Let's work together. All right. So Kid Fresh TL 34 says, we need to bring back the Mikey singing during the time lapses. Ah, oh, for the tutorials. Yeah, there's, I mean, they're not completely dead. Every now and then I'll do a tutorial with a time lapse and I'll sneak in another song. Um, but yeah, there's less of them as there used to be. But you know, that's still on the radar, don't you worry. <laughs> Termless chart, those songs were the best. No, they weren't. They were fucking awful, if you've ever heard them. It's a kind of love it and hate it thing, but I like being a geek, so screw it. And Sage Fowler says, hey Mikey, hey Sage, have you seen Black Lagoon? Yes, I've seen the first episode. And then you said you should draw Revy for an SAS. Fortunately, Colby Senior says he's already done it. Have a look. And Angel Smith adds, awesome artwork. Can't wait for the weird combination of animals. Oh yeah, the Abomination series that um, I might or might not do eventually. Absolutely right. Hatchy B712. Hey Mikey. Hey Hatchy B. Do you play Pokemon Go? And if so, will you make videos about it? Um, so I do play Pokemon Go. Um, the UK had it behind America. I mean, it's officially out now. But in the UK, we could download it anyway if we just did something clever with your phone. And uh, yeah, everybody is playing Pokemon Go. It's fucking awesome. It's a lot of fun. Will I make videos about it? Probably not. Two main reasons. Um, I'd never make a video that's as good as other videos out there already, so um, screw it. I don't play it that much. Um, I like it, but I, I'm not like um, any good at it. And also, my camera phone is the um, camera that I use for all of my recording stuff, unless I'm doing like screenshots and things. So I'd have nothing to film with if I was walking around on my phone playing Pokemon Go. It just wouldn't work out. But my god, it's a lot of fun. I've got a lot of Pokemon. I went for a um, five mile run a while ago. And I put on like uh, a lure and then just jogged out. And every like minute of jogging, I had to stop and catch another Pokemon. It was fucking amazing. Like up and down this cycle path somewhere from my village. Uh, so productive. Although the run then took about an hour, 15 minutes because I was just catching Pokemon all the time. So not, not the best cardio workout in the world. Nova Rex TV says Vanos. Vanos from Vanos? Oh, is Vanos like um, the owl guy from Vanos Gaming, isn't it? When... Um, He's like the, is he Spanish or something like that? Or um, Brazilian? I think I know who you're talking about. He always wears an owl mask or something. Um, so yeah, it could lead to something like that. Somebody did mention doing a Vanos gender swap or something like that or fan art. So yeah, still on the list. And DeAndre Cotter says, so cool, Mikey, good work. This is in reference to a load of owls we drew last time. At the moment right now in the sketchbook, or essentially, because right now it's first thing on Wednesday morning, because... Um, I woke up at like half past four because it's fucking hot. How's a man supposed to sleep in this weather? Oh, I'm just going to bitch about the weather all day. It's such an English thing to do. Um, but uh, ooh, what's I talking about? Oh, yeah. So like uh, last night, I was just um, watching Ghost in the Shell Arise. I've just started getting back into that because I never really liked that series first time around. I kind of watched first half of an episode and I just kind of thought, nah, nah I'm not up for it. Um, this time around, it's better than I thought. It's not a great compared to the Ghost in the Shell canon that's out there. Um, but so I was watching that and then I looked up Mazumune Shiro, the guy who originally came up with the Ghost in the Shell um, manga that everything slowly got based on. Very, very loosely based on it. And um, I was looking at his art style and he draws these really um, slim, really long legged characters. And I was thinking because my types of characters are usually thicker and curvier when I draw them um, in my art style, I wanted to have a go at just getting used to um, some really slim kind of look characters. And I thought it might be helpful for when I do some diva um, SAS artwork. So in the sketchbook at the moment, I'm just playing around with longer legged characters. When I start off drawing, I hate it. I get so closed and cramped up with the artwork. It's really hard to get like loose and free with it. So the first sketches you put down in your sketchbook, 
but never the best. So always like just trying to get and correct edge and line all the time. But eventually as we go on, I start to loosen up and just do a load of characters standing around in a fairly leggy pose. So uh, that's what's going on in the background at the moment. Obviously, um, no masterpieces. It's just me sketching what I want to sketch in a sketchbook. That's the point of the series. So um, often you'll just see that uh, whatever images I come up with might look like total shit. And that's totally OK. It's uh, never a problem to sketch whatever you want in a sketch, but that's what a sketchbook's for. Anyway, um, Yeldry Bello says, currently making an engineer original character for my story. Oh, very, very cool. Obviously, I always want to know what you guys are drawing at home. What projects are you working on whilst this is playing in the background, whilst we're just kind of having a catch up? Because uh, I bloody love hearing about people's projects and artwork. I kind of got into that last time in the longest bloody DWM I've ever done. So I'm going to try to make sure this is quicker. Um, but yeah, when you say engineer, it also reminds me of the HR Geiger engineers from, not the Geiger design engineers at all, but from the Alien series. And the Storm says, don't blink, Angel's watching you. Yeah, from pretty much the best ever Doctor Who's episode ever. I already said it last episode, but if you're not into Doctor Who, if you've never watched it, and you want to give it a shot, and you're not sure if it's for you, because it really is a mixed bag. Some episodes are fucking awful, and some are interesting. Um, watch an episode called Blink. I think it's for David Tennant Doctor Who in it, but that is bloody good. And also really fucking scary when you think about it. Robert Nehan says, I really wish you'd watch Sailor Moon Crystal season three. Yes, a lot of you guys are pushing the Sailor Moon stuff. Don't worry, don't worry. First two seasons have a shitty art style. Okay, I'll forget about it. And Stefani Osoria says, yes, yes, do Michiru uh, Haruka. That would be so rad. And Joshu Punyama says, hey, Mikey, I'm currently working on a comic book that takes place during the Crusades in an alternative world. Ooh. That reminds me very much of um, Assassin's Creed. Not that it's sun original, just uh, that's what I think about now when I think about the Crusades. I used to think about it in a history books kind of way until I played video games. Um, I love your videos. Thank you very much. Love your name. And everything you have done to help me improve, I sent you some pictures on Facebook. Excellent. I'll look at them in about three months' time. What was the first thing that inspired you to become an artist? Um, good question. I would say in a very, very, very loose sense, a very quick, loose answer is that... Um, my mum's very good at art, or she was. Uh, she used to be a potter and stuff like that. Um, so it was always kind of something that was on my radar as being normal to do. Like when I grew up, it seemed normal that you'd want to draw and do things. I thought that's what everyone did. Um, but what really kicked it into gear for me was um, when I was, I think, sort of maybe 12, 13, something like that, just really becoming aware of Japanese video games and the very idea of um, CG and special effects. And I used to just fucking love that. And I just wanted to draw Final Fantasy characters all the time and like get into games design or something. So that's kind of what led me into a lot of it, certainly. But I like art in general. And when you find you're good at something, even if you need practice at it, um, it becomes fairly enjoyable after a while. So all good. Um, Sackboy3895 says, as a person who draws anime characters, I can't seem to get the knack of drawing body proportions. They are tough, aren't they? I watch your tutorials, which are really helpful, by the way. Awesome. Please to help. Um, which give me good in-depth review about such things, but when I put pencil to paper, it ends up looking like a bloody mess. Any ideas or comments? You've had lots of comments, people replying to give you some help. Learn more of the basics like realism. Very good answer from uh, Jake Brandon. Um, get the hang of drawing realistic proportions first. That is always a great start. Bear in mind that when you draw anime or your manga style, you're drawing a stylized version still of reality, if that makes sense, even if you're doing like a fantasy manga. So when you draw a manga girl, it's still based off of the forms and shapes of a real life person, um, just kind of boiled down into a very stylistic way. So it never hurts to try to work on your realism and then kind of expand from that. Um, but also, if it's not quite going right, work slower for a start. Um, just work on getting a torso and a proportions right, but look really bloody carefully. Um, go to my frequently asked questions video about observation and copying out work to kind of get an idea of judgment. But Keep it up, keep doing it, build up your skills, and you get a sharper eye. But you have to learn to look really clearly at different lines and the different weights of things um, to get your kind of copying down. And then the more you understand how important these things are, the more you build it into your own art style as well. That's the way I think, anyway. Um, Jake Brandon says, I bet it would be pretty cool if you ever made a comic. Thank you very much. Still writing it, still working on character design. I've got the loose idea, I've got the overall arc of the story, but boiling it down and trying to make an interesting chapter with actual like interesting characters and dialogue that's the tough bit which won't be happening for ages but eventually and then on patreon there'll be probably really short comics which are a little bit more um, naughty themed anyway chrissy teddy bear pain says hey mikey hey chrissy i want to ask you some questions about patreon because i'm a newbie and i want to know what to do when you started patreon did you get patrons right away and what were the steps you took to gain supporters did i get patrons right away no 
And what advice would I give you? Um, start it up and basically what I did is I just um, read Patreon, patrons' Patreon's tips where basically it says things like um, uh, answer loads of questions, give out loads of like rewards and stuff, make it clear what rewards people get, have different tiers, um, be really, really like regular with your updates and stuff. Um, but basically on Patreon, you're basically asking people to support what you do. So make sure you're doing something that's worth supporting first. You can't get people supporting on Patreon if nobody actually cares about what you're up to, I guess. Um, so yeah, work on your actual stuff first and then Patreon kind of comes later, I'd say. It's not something you can launch right away when you're getting stuff done. Philip Hoyers says, thanks Mikey, thanks for the comments on the game last week. Really enjoyed your videos. Keep up the great work. What are your favourite genres for both gaming and manga and anime? Hashtag Hardcore Crew, hashtag Mug of Tea. Oh my god, that's even better. Hardcore Crew plus Mug of Tea. <laughs> yes, you know it. I'm just Actually, I'm going to have a sip now, right now. Mm. Delicious. Um, hmm. uh, favorite genres for gaming? I like a lot of story-based games. They've got to be action-adventure games, um, like The Last of Us and stuff like that, obviously, or um, uh, Bioshock Infinite. Like they need to have like this action-fighting element to keep me engaged, but they've got to have a story. That's the thing. At the overall plot and story, I must want to know what's happening. So I like games like that. But oddly enough, not so much stuff like Heavy Rain. Because that was too slow and dull for me. And I'm actually not a massive fan of all these fucking quick time event press a button things. They don't massively work for me. So I like more role playing games with interesting plots and action story games with interesting plots. That's what does it for me. I'm not that massive onto online gaming. Not because I don't enjoy it, but just because I'm shit at it. And um, things like Star Wars Battlefront just really put me off. I really loved that game at first. And then I just realized I was bored of it within about a week, which is a real, real shame. And in terms of manga and anime, it's just got to be good. It's just got to have engaging characters, or at the very least, it's got to be beautiful, one or the other. So, um, again, stuff with the storyline where I really, really bloody care. A great example would be Berserk, which is out, which you guys told me about. Oh, fuck, I've seen the first three episodes of Berserk are so fucking good. I'm so glad it picks up right off of where they um, OVAs left off. I was really scared they were just going to remake it from scratch. Um, I'm not a massive fan, though, actually, now that you ask, of... Um, CG cartoon cell shading. So Berserk does this, so I've just I have to just deal with it. But basically when they're not actually drawn cells with characters or they're not even drawn on uh, digital art platforms anymore, it's 3D CG models and the rendering is done to look like it might be drawn like a cartoon. I actually don't like that so much. I completely understand why they do it because um you can have complex shapes moving around in all sorts of positions really easily and it's probably quicker and cheaper to produce. Um, but I like the drawn style, personally. It's just um, one of my things. I don't massively like that CG cartoon vibe. Anyway, um, we could make that the question, but I don't know how I'd phrase it in the thumbnail to this video to make it seem clear. Basically, um, watch something like Berserk, or when you see something where there's 3D animation in an anime that's otherwise drawn. Do you like it when they do the 3D bits? Do you think it's too rubbish looking? Do you prefer it if everything was hand-drawn and cell shaded like you get in anime movies? where it just has that real nice pop and pump to it. How do you like things? Um, because there's a price to pay. It takes longer, it's harder work, um, but it tends to look nicer. But when you've just got normal cell shaded animation, you get scenes which can be really cheaply done, like the only thing moving in a still image of the character's mouths for about five minutes of dialogue. Shit like that can be rubbish. Tough one. It is a tough one. Um, Philip Hoyer says, hey, Mikey, thanks. Oh, no, I've just read it. <laughs> Raft Production says, have you heard about Live 2D Euclid? No, it's technology that basically brings 2D drawings into 3D. Just type the name in YouTube. And you'll find a trailer. Oh, OK, let's control C. I won't YouTube it because something loud will happen on the video, but I'll type it into Google. Images. Oh, it takes different layers. And kind of, oh, I think I know what you mean. So it's not quite 3D, but it takes 2D stuff, pulls them into different layers to kind of create a 3 d ish model or something. That's, oh, I'll have to look that up. But that looks fucking weird and intense. Really useful for video game stuff by the looks of it. Hmm. And probably by now used in hentai production because that stuff's always ahead of the curve. Porn seems to dictate the advancement of technology. Taylor Scott says, hey, Mikey, I'm back. Two in a row. Could you add Kamiya Kaoro for the SAS? Kamiya Kaoro from Rural Running Kenshin. Let's have a quick look. I need a reminder there. I haven't watched any 
tension for years and years and oh it's the main girl yeah who tries to keep her school open with her peaceful fighting techniques and the kid that flies says can you do a tutorial on poses and body posture in relation to the area around them yeah ergonomics the way people interact with their environment we'll have to add it to the list fear curse says love the long vids Cheers, fear, but we've got to make them shorter than that. I render my videos with a drawing at like 8 megabits a second or megabytes a second um, at 720p so that they have loads of texture and quality. Um, but that video is so long, it was too big a file to put on my phone to upload. So I had to render it at 6 megabits per second or whatever. So yeah, we've got to keep this shit under an hour, definitely. Colby Senior, speed read if you wish, mate. Will do. <gasps> my alarm's going off in the background. I'm going off, peace. Just got to turn off. All the stuff, that means it's time to wake up. Ugh, I'm coming back. That's going to go off again later. This happens all the time when I try to get work done first thing in the morning. Um, speed read Colby's thing. Um, so yeah, hoping that the UK doesn't break out into anarchy because things have gone to shit over here. It's just fucking messed up. Um, impressive video, thank you very much. You're putting together the mythology of magicians and to place them into the golden age of piracy, hence... The idea of a flying pirate ship and mermaids and whatnot. Very, very cool. So that's all. Continue the magnificent drawings. Thank you very much, you artistic tea, tea drinker. Oh, being called an artistic tea drinker is makes me feel full of pride. That's much nicer than being called the pervy sage. Thank you very much. Speaking of which, I'd choose tea. Your precious raspberry tea whilst drawing. Interesting stuff. Keep it up, Colby. I'd love to see what happens with this manga that you're cracking on. It sounds really cool. Um, world building is so much fun. When you've got an idea, you have no idea how you're going to turn it into a story, but you just imagine a world and how it works, and you just get all the ideas down. I fucking love that. Z Slayer Mazamuni says, question, hmm, answer time. If you had the opportunity to beat the crap out of any anime manga character, how would you begin destroying Griffith? Let's be honest, anyone who's represented would put him somewhere at the top of their shit list. Fuck, I hate Griffith so much. And you know what's more fucked up is that, spoiler alert, by the way, what's more fucked up is the fact that as the manga goes on, like, no one understands that Griffiths is a fucking bad piece of shit. And what's worse is that he does a lot of good. Because if the other fucking apostle from the other side of the world, the other disciple, fucks everything up and creates the invasion, and then um, the world of Fantasia arc gets opened up when he's destroyed um, using uh, that sort of sword that the uh, other king uses. But fucking, now Griffiths is like the saviour, and he's like a religious icon and a paragon to everyone and a pariah, and it's just like, fuck! Because now he's doing loads of good, but you know deep down the price he paid for it was to fucking sacrifice everybody. Oh, a m lot of messed up emotion. What would I fucking do about it? You'd have to, you couldn't just hurt Griffith. You'd have to take down the idea of Griffith. You'd have to find a way for every single person in the world to realize what he did, what he sacrificed, and how dark he made things for his comrades in order to gain a power. Everybody would need to become aware of that first, and then you'd be able to take him down. To kill him just wouldn't be enough. Fuck, don't make me angry. I fucking hate Griffith right now. And yet I love him. Like, he's such a cool character. Because you understand it. He got fucking mind broken for two years of torture as well. He was destroyed as a power. He's like such a, a handsome guy rising to the top. I mean, he screwed it up for himself. He's a fucking idiot. Um, but then, like, you understand why he broke and, like, sacrificed everybody. Oh, God, Berserk is so well written. Um, you know what? I'm going to have to start... Because I've got all the, well, I've got loads of the volumes, let's say, in Japanese. Now that I'm watching the um, uh, TV anime, I'm probably going to have to start rereading through the volumes as a bit of Japanese practice. Fuck it. You know what? I'm going to take volume one Berserk Japanese into work today. And I'm going to slowly not do my job <laughs> that I'm paid to do and flick through the pages in between calls. That's, that's what I'm going to do. Great shout. Damn, I'm angry at Griffith right now. Thanks. How would you do it, Z Slayer? How would you do it? Um, oh man, we need to speed up. Gas killer. I wish I could control time so I could get to places faster without people in my way. If I could control time, mate, I wouldn't just be getting to places faster. People's underwear would be back on the wrong way. Everybody would be weirdly molested. Let's face it, you would do it. Even if you only did it a little bit, you'd definitely do it. Um, I'd go to places I'm not allowed. I'd probably die, you know, like, I'd be like, oh, I can fucking walk on these train tracks now because I can freeze time. And then I'd step on the wrong one and I'd just be electrocuted or something awful. Or I'd fly a kite into a power cable. Um, but if I could freeze time as well, I would literally stop time, learn an entire language, as long as you didn't age, that, that's got to be the caveat, learn an entire language, and then boom, redo time, and then go to that country for a bit or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'd want to freeze time, live for a thousand years without aging quickly. That would be amazing. That would be much better than stopping time. Or oh, would it? Oh, now I don't know. 
Now I really don't know, Gas Killer. What would you go for? Live for a thousand years or be able to stop time but still age? That's the question, everybody. Um, so many questions. Uh, Narian TX says, um, check out Aeon Flux. Ooh, I like your wish, Mikey. 100% of the merchandising and licensing from anime, manga, and film. Oh, yeah, to be kick-ass. I don't really know what that was in reference to. But, yes, let's look at Aeon Flux for TV. Or was it an anime that you guys were saying? Let's have a quick look on Google Images Search. La, 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 la. Oh, yeah, of course we talked about this. It was really stylized. As his Venus flytrap thing with his eyelashes. That's really fucking cool. Um, God, yeah, I put it on my to-do list. And I haven't done any of my to-do lists from the last episode. To be fair, I rarely do it. It's just an incredibly long notepad file. I'll have to um, screenshot it one day. I'll just show you how long this list of themes is. So much stuff to do. Vincent Roncalli says, I'm currently working on more erotic hentai drawings of women. Eh, you might want to watch out on that, mate. Try <laughs> <laughs> like, you're going to have to explain that to somebody one day when they see it on your computer. I've only done one so far, but the reason they turn out better than just when I draw women being normal. Hmm. That's, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, if you want to draw a hentai, I'm not going to stop you. Do whatever you want. But maybe just showing a nipple's all right. Maybe keep some pants on them or something like that. If you draw, like, pin-up and etchy stuff, it's you're not quite bordering on into hentai. And then you get to live your life not being, like, a hentai pornographer. So have a big think about that, but do whatever makes you happy. And Luke, drinking game. Take a shot every time someone asks Mikey or any other artist, YouTuber, what type of pen pencil do you use? <laughs> yes! Yes, mate. That would be fucking brilliant. That would be dead within an hour. Don't draw Pico. Avoid Boku no Pico. It's actually Japanese cancer. Just run. Oh, okay. Oh, and don't draw Ram or Rem. Hardcore crew. Hardcore crew. Um, yeah, like... Uh... Yeah, that's fair. I get asked that question all the fucking time. If I just read through my comments and just took a shot every time somebody asked me that, you're right, I would be pissed off my face. That'd be amazing. I like that game. That's a great artist YouTube drinking game. DD Ninja says, such wise, such wow, much owl. Good. Good combination, John Devone and DD Ninja. Bailey McLooney, Mikey, I found that I can draw realistic things but not anime. And I'm not, I'm the one that drew the girl on Twitter Boom Kid 2002. Good, if you can do realistic, stick with that. Do whatever you want, or build up your skills. It doesn't matter, man. And Matt Wilson says, Hey, Mikey, hey, Matt. Owls look amazing. Thank you very much. Been practicing my body parts lately. Would love it if you check out my channel or my da deviant art. Let's have a quick look on another tab. Oh, man, you've got really colorful art with that Naruto cover stuff. And comic miniseries. Oh, okay, people, take a look at that. Oh, these kind of slightly chibi-sized Naruto characters. Oh, man, you've done loads of these. Oh, this looks really professional, actually. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, have to um, have a look at that sometime. Matt Wilson, go back to the last video. Go back to the one where I drew owls, everybody, and check out Matt Wilson's deviant art majigger in the comments. It actually might be worth a little read. We'll just have to leave that tab open for later. And Narian TX also says, last comment for this vid, Alt Shift X has the best in a nutshell reviews on a song of ice and fire. Hashtag hardcore crew. You're absolutely right. If you like Game of Thrones, I appreciate the season's over now. Alt Shift X's channel is the best channel as far as I'm concerned. If it talks about what happens in the series, or talks about like the Red Priest, or talks about the Maesters, or talks about the various things, all the other channels that do, um, they don't always have their facts straight, and they just fucking say shit that isn't quite true, or they make assumptions that I don't agree with. And um, but Alt Shift X work is very very good. Check that channel out. Nobody needs help. As well, Ivari, my animal combination, still doing animal combos. People love it. Oh wait. No, it's a person combo. Brendan Fraser, Keanu Reeves, and Nicolas Cage. More like Nipolis Cage. <laughs> Hardcore crew. And since I drew you from the last time I gender bended you as a giant cup of tea holding. Yeah, yeah, you did um, the uh, tea stuff in leggings, headphones, and oversized jacket. What should I change or add now? Do whatever you want, man. I'm not going to dictate to my weird gender bent thing that you're doing. That's, that's your bag completely. And you're going to do your own Yon Coma style once again. Every time I draw, I quit after one page. It is tough. Fourth time attempting this is a fourth year, but I'm working on new characters that have recently created and gone back to drawing my very first creator when I was little. Yeah. It's weird going back through your old artwork and finding really old character designs that you did from a long time ago and then using your current art skills to redraw them. That is a great thing. I might... Have I still got some old sketchbooks? Really shit work in some old ones. I might grab out an old sketchbook, take some old characters that I drew back then and redraw them in a slightly newer style. That's... 
Just a nice project to do in spare time. I like that idea. Nice one, as well. And Fundanga80 says, I'm a new subscriber. Welcome on board. Mainly interested in your manga segment. Don't worry, most people are. Like, only a few people watch for gaming. That's totally cool. I don't mind. Um, amazing channel. Thank you very much. Glad to help. Mail tutorials will be in the future. That's my drinking game. Every time somebody asks me what pen I'm using, every time somebody asks me why I'm not streaming live on Twitch, and every time somebody asks me if I'll do mail tutorials. If I played, if I took a shot every time I got one of those comments, then I would be a genuine alcoholic. Actually, no, I would be dead. I'd be genuinely dead. Joel says, as for sports, I'm still waiting for giant robot Kabatos anime. That's, yeah, I guess there's an anime of everything, but maybe not one where giant robots are Kabatosing. That's probably one we're missing out on. Megatron's angles are so, oh, are you talking about that um, Megatron Boobatron thing? Yeah, that's brilliant. And some imager images. Let's have a look at some of your artwork. Oh my, wait, wait, is this your artwork? Let's go back, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, it's an artist called Rico. Oh, that's an amazing artist. Yeah, yeah, okay. And Monique McNaughton has an old one as well. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, there's some amazing fucking artists out there. Absolutely, so much work to do. Gonna have to open Rico's work in a new tab. Looks really engaging. Gonna leave that for a quick look later. John Devone, please make a tutorial on more poses. Yes, more tutorials coming as ever. We just had to get some eyes out of the way as an another of the many, many things that we need to cover. Um, upcoming tutorials include um, uh, angles of necks and shoulders and I think side view characters, something like that. I think that's also next on my to-do list, but you never know. And Mr. Gravity Rune says, for Widowmaker SAS, you did the body and clothes separate because you did something and not safe for work for the patrons. Yes, I did indeed. And you've linked your Facebook post to some artwork. Oh, you've done a nice Deadpool. Nice one. I'm Spider-Man. Yeah, Deadpool loves to be Spider-Man. Absolutely. Good work, sir. I like it. Good. And John Brady says, dude, thanks for answering my question. A pleasure. Uh, brilliant how you film the videos. Oh, I'm glad you like it, sir. And your videos have been a great help to me, so thanks again. It is, of course, a pleasure making them. It's just like a hobby, but I'm really glad it's like a useful hobby, if that makes sense. And um, you're watching videos in Louisiana in America, so keep them coming. Awesome. Great big hello to people in Louisiana. That's fucking cool. I really want to do like um, one of those Trek America tours, a really long ones, where you get to just go around all the states and just see stuff. That'd be fucking awesome. So, yeah, very, very cool. I once lived in, uh, in wait, Atlanta, Georgia. Not quite Atlanta, but like not far from Atlanta, somewhere in Georgia. But only when I was like a tiny kid. I barely remember it. Somewhere near the golf course, I think. That's all I know. Um, Peyton Sand says, I wish that I could wish to have more wishes. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. You're not allowed that wish. Everybody knows in the wishing game that's the one wish you're not allowed. And Aaron says, I can picture Mikey sucking the creativity about... Oh, God. <laughs> I, I started reading. Um, obviously I don't pre-read your comments, I just record this. As I was reading this, I thought, oh my god, what's he about to say? I can picture Mikey sucking cuck. Sucking cuck for views. No, what Aaron has really said is, I can picture Mikey sucking the creativity out of other artists for a straw in their ear. And then man-baby versions of Mikey sitting two centimetres from the retro TV set, watching cringy old Chinese kung fu movies at fuck knows what time. Yes, with crusty socks. <laughs> And Sega Genesis game boxes. Ah, horribly, horribly realistic rendition. I'm not fucking happy about that at all. Yeah, staying up to watch classic Kung Fu. Who fucking didn't do that? Um, Boku no Pico is a Rick Roll of the 12-year-old weeb otaku community. It's underage gay porn film, but roughly translates to my Pico, so like, might want them to do an older version of characters. Right. Yeah, I might. Um, well, I'll check it out, and then if they're all too young, I won't even do it. And if I just draw older versions, that'll um, solve it. But yeah, apparently I'm assuming, just by reading your comments, Boko no Piku is a bit like lower space common de denominator, and maybe it's not actually that good to watch at all. So um, yeah, I'll have a think. Um, yes, Aaron, I do I do like to suck for creativity out of other artists. Um, yeah, I do. Um, I think everyone is a similar way. Not to actually suck it out, but get engaged by other people's artwork, and it helps you be creative with yours. Not literally drawing the life and soul out of them, no, for a straw, because that would be proper creepy. Um, God, it's good. That made me laugh. Uh, Aobanace07 says, Hey, Mike. Dot e. Mike E. Oh, I like what you've done there. Clever. Hello. Could you please check out my work and give me some tips for improvement? No, I don't have the time for that. I'll have a look at your work, but I'm not going to sit here through every DWM following links to people's own artwork. Oh, I actually quite like yours. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. 
Nice. Um, but yeah, this isn't like an art review series. I can't um, click through everything on here. But yeah, it was quite nice. So keep up the good work. And Blue Listen to Hey Mikey, if you want to watch animes for free, you should check out kissanime.com. Oh, okay. So I know that Crunchyroll has animes, but like it's got loads of adverts and it doesn't really have everything. So if Kiss Anime is like a site with lots of anime, maybe I'll watch it. I mean, I know it might technically be wrong and you should buy anime. I get that. But sometimes watching free anime is also nice. Not that I would encourage anybody to do it if it's legal. Blue Falcon says, Mega Mikey, can you make tutorials on old weapons and armor? It is on a to-do list. That was a suggestion from a long, long time ago. Still yet to do it. You've got to do people first. Ootsway, owls. Everybody is fond of owls. Love the drawings, Mikey. Thank you very much. And you're painting miniatures once again. Excellent. Back on the 40k stuff, I assume, or Warhammer Old Schooler. Really need to get on with drawings again soon. Have some ideas in my head, but just can't get on with it. It is tough to start getting your ideas onto paper. Once you're doing it, it flows, but it's a tough start. IA Potato wants me to do Casca from Berserk. Other people want me to do Berserk gender swaps. And Tim, know your goddamn motherfucking business, says great work as ever, Mikey. Been catching up with your vids. Excellent stuff. And you've got an Aquino. I'm assuming he made Gmail. Oh, error 404. Your link does not work, sir. Your link does not work. Um, so send me another one in the next episode. And DKMan01 says, can you draw Ari from League of Legends? I'll add it to the list. Carrie Sularig says, I love your draws. I love your name. Larig. That's a, just an awesome. I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly. Larig. Larig. And Visual Namani says, what size are the guns? Obviously, my question is out of context, but you look pretty buff. Thank you very much. My guns, I call from the ambassadors, the playmakers, the lady killers. Um, I have no idea. Just lift up the heavy things. Keep curling weights every now and then. Get yourself some big old arms. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm, I am not fit for summer yet. Bikina Petrikova says, Hey, Mikey, thanks for suggesting Hunter Hunter. I've been addicted since. Oh, awesome. Hunter Hunter's so fucking good. I'm really pleased. I watched all the episodes of 1999. Oh, over here, I think that's called X1999 and 2011. I love it so much. Oh, wait, no, you're talking about the original Hunter Hunter series. I get it. Yeah, the 2011 remake is way, way better. Um, 1999, completely unrelated to Hunter Hunter, is also the name of another famous anime manga about the end of the world. Naruto Man. Hi, Mike. You can't wait for your next SAS. Me and a girlfriend love watching them together. Awesome. Really pleased. And Xavier Frost says, love your drawings, by the way. Peace. Also wish I could cover every wrong thing I do up. Um, with, yeah, it would be nice to cover up all your life's mistakes, but it's not that easy. You just have to learn to be better and move on. What kind of weapon do you like? Um, general ones like swords or guns. You can be specific if you want to. I quite like the samurai sword. I liked it as a kid. I know it's like a another Weibo otaku thing. But I was always drawn to knives and swords as a kid. I know it's not mentally healthy. And that's who I was. Although, to be fair, I wasn't standing in a garden cutting up bottles of water either. But, um, yeah, I do have a couple of proper, actually forged swords. So... You know, still waiting to get robbed one day, so I'm allowed to use it. Juan says, come on, you're only two years older than me. You must have seen a football. Soccer's not a valid real word. Correct. Anime Captain Tsubasa when you were a kid. No, I didn't. I never watched um, football anime at all. In Argentina, it was called Super Campeones. Super Champions. Awesome, dude. You're Argentinian. Nice one. They had football fields the size of a whole country. Not intentionally. They fly over skies to kick the ball and a lot of crazy stuff. Classic anime manga. Um, And the ending was so traumatic. It was banned from TV. Turns out the main character was in a coma of a whole show, so it's a dream in his head. Oh, fuck! And the coma left him paralytic, so he wakes up to learn that his ambition was impossible. Oh, shit, I'm going to have to Google that right now. That's fucking dark. Okay, there's going to be a no-talking moment whilst I sip some tea and just looked it up. I'm really intrigued by an anime of an incredibly dark ending. Mm. Let's have a look at Super... Champions, Subasa, Coma, Ending. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, I can see the guys in a wheelchair. Tragico Episodo Final Super Campeones. Oh, man, the great final. Oh, shit, yeah. The power of a forsaken child. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. Sorry for all that dead time of me not talking, but yeah, that is dark stuff. Awesome. Okay, Flop says, I don't think you've realised you might need to draw some male SAS. Yes, I'll probably have to get round to that to keep everybody happy and keep gender equality going in the world. And Schizoid137 says, I think it'd be hilarious if you did a gender-swapped SAS of Optimus Prime. 
Hashtag high beams. <laughs> I'd, I'd almost want to, but I definitely don't, because it would just be like the creepiest thing I could do. Gender swapped Optimus robot. I mean, never say never. It will happen, I'm sure. Shonzo Wilson says, a few episodes. I remember you saying you don't, you watch Don't Help Me, I'm Scared. I do. I love it. And what did I think of the ending? And do I have any theories? Yes, I believe it's a um, big dystopian look on uh, commercialization and victimization of the education of youth and the way that everybody's forced to do stuff. And I think as the characters leave the series, for one method or another, they're becoming aware of how they're always on show and forced to live in an alternative world. Um, but as they leave the series and become themselves in reality, they're also completely displaced there as well. There is no happiness for any of them. It's a nihilistic show where even at the best ending, everything just recurs to an alternative beginning because um, the misery of the world itself is cyclical and everything comes around again. There's no true ending for anyone and there's no true release or freedom um, for any character. They all learn to be unhappy in every situation they're in, even if some of them are miserable forms of torture. But I think it's a great series nonetheless. What are your thoughts on it? I'd love to know. Brandon Flores says, Hi Mikey, have you ever watched Ghostbusters? If you did, draw a gender-bent anime version of them. I'll do a gender-bent version of a big green slimy ghost with a big pair of droopy, horrible, saggy tits, maybe. Um, but no, not the other ones. Charles Sketch. Hey Mikey, here's a link to my Instagram. I'm not going to sit through everybody's Instagram accounts every episode. Next episode, pre-Instagram warning. I will not look at all of your links to your accounts because it'll take me too long. I mean, I'll look at them in my own time, but I'll not sit here through the videos and do it. Nico Juju says, Mikey, you need to watch ReZero. It's the best anime of the year right now, Senpai. I want to hear your opinion on it. And Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4 has got some crazy shit. Yeah, I heard that they're doing a fourth season or they've done one. I'll have to check it out. Um, also, Fantasy Star Online 2 and a character from the pile, but there aren't many characters that aren't really noteworthy at the moment. Okay. Um, it's a good MMO, though. Nice, nice. And male cheerleading team um, called Cheer Danchi. Skeptical at first, but it's actually pretty solid. Oh, we'll have to have a look. Where's War Owl mascot? Yeah, so many owl themed stuff. I was just drawing some owls just to um, get some owl skills down. But apparently there's loads of owl characters out there that need looking at. So thanks for all the suggests. Mark Paolo Santos, I heard you like Jojo. Yes, I do. Could you play this background music whilst reading the comments? Um, you've given me a link to... Oh, I, I see what you've done. You've split up the YouTube thing. Like, the, the link doesn't work because you've um, split it up a bit. YouTube.com. Go on, now I've got to type it back together. This is a fucking pain in my ass. Fucking comments, links, videos. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, am I going to rap over this? Ada Hara says, Nice old Mikey. Wish I'd catch you with my Pokeball, but that would be too bikey. I'm a true king. That was a long ass video, but it's a good job made. Cause I wish I could go and create anything and you could please draw Dizzy. From Guilty Gear on SAS, cause that would be fucking busy. Marshall Lee says, Hey Mikey, I got a question. It was one anime that made you cringe the worst question. Yeah, <laughs> let's turn it off. I'm not going to do that for the rest of the episode. That'd be fucking awful. So, yeah, I'm, no, I'm not going to play that in the background. <laughs> no, I will not. Um, cringy, cringy anime. Oh, any filler episode of anything, especially when you love One Piece and their filler episodes are so shit, or you love Naruto or Bleach and their filler episodes are so shit. Um, and even then, like, they're not great. So anything that's a filler episode is cringe for me. I fucking hate them. Chantal Wilson says, I came back to comment again. Welcome back again. Um, did I ever do um, artwork for the Lost Pause contest? No, I didn't actually. I never went around to it because um, I didn't have the time. And I was like, oh, I really want to do some competition entries and get involved with that. Or Draw of Jazza does loads of competition stuff as well. Oh, Draw of Jazza's coming to the UK. I'm going to go to London this weekend and see him. That would be fucking cool. I'll try to get a photo with him. That would be so fucking cool. Um, but no, I don't really have the time. Like Getting my own channel out of the way and doing my day job. And I've got some other challenges that I have to sort out with paperwork and things. Um, yeah, I just never get round to it. Um, McWilly Too Really says, Yo, Mikey, um, the everyone being blind wish was kind of cray cray. Yeah, don't don't ask me for context on that one. I kind of wish that everybody was blind last episode, but it made sense at the time. And you've got a question about Final Fantasy. What personal opinions about Cloud, despite his memories not being his own? Um, I think it was really strong to create a primary character that was actually living a lie more than anything to realize that um, he wasn't a big deal at all. And that really, the the build-up of the character is all the things that you'd accomplished in the game. And it was nothing about who he was before. Because it's nice, because it's all about second chances and stuff. So, yeah, I thought it was a really well-written idea. What did you think about Cloud? And do you think he was better than School Lionheart or any of the others? 
Scott Vickers says, hey, started watching anime because of a Channel 4 airing. Yes, me too. Nice one. You must be a UK. -er. Um, and you saw things like Blood the Last Vampire, Akira, Ninja Scroll, Metropolis. All of them are excellent anime to start watching. Excellent suggestions and selections. I like it. Uh, check out some more artwork on Tumblr. I'm just going to re-address this warning. Like, I'm not going to keep checking out all your artwork on Tumblr. You've done some good stuff, though. Nice. Nice good bit of sketchbook work, actually. Oh, you've got some skills of anime girls. Nice. Nice. Okay, yeah. To be fair, everybody's linking me to stuff. is actually quite good stuff. But um, don't link me up next episode because I won't end up reading through the comment or taking a look. Um, Zappy Zor is currently experimenting with Sharpie drawing. Good on you. And uh, Mr. EXP says, I should do a tutorial on Steampunk. Yes, I should. Ms. D. Art says, in regards to Tales of, that's literally the name of the series. Same series, though. Very, very cool. Uh, Lyris Sand says, Hi, Mikey. I want to ask you if you can put my draw um, of your tutorial on Deviant Art if I quote you. Yeah, draw whatever you want. I don't mind. And Batman says, I have a riddle for you. What goes down an alley and has holes in it? Batman's parents. Hashtag hardcore crew. Nice. And the black guy says, Hey, I've been following you and your artwork for quite some time. Of course you have. I remember you, sir. Um, always uploading something new for the fans on a weekly basis. Yes, I do try my best. You have a question now. Do I ever experience artist block? And if I do, how do I usually overcome it? Yes, I do. We've answered this question before. It's always a good one. Go for a walk. Do anything else. Play piano. Get out of the house. Get drunk. Go off with your friends. Um, and then come back to it later. And whatever you were trying to draw last time, don't try to draw that. Um, draw something else. Um, sit and just flick through a load of Pinterest images. Find something you like. Uh, sketch it out. But sketch out loads of shit stuff first. Get really, really loosened up in your hand. Then start drawing again what you wanted to draw and come back to your own work. That might take days. It might take a good week. It might just take 15 minutes of walking away and playing football. You never know. Um, but leave what you're doing. Physically go away from the stuff and then come back to it. That's the main bit. Um, Hogmoster says, OK, Mikey, I do have a question, but I've been struggling with the past four years. Well, that's a long time to hold a question. I hate everything down. I know anatomy. Oh, I have everything down. OK, even better. I know anatomy. I've practiced. I've given years of my dedication for drawing. But whatever I draw, it ends up not being the image. I can't thumbnail. I can't make a full-fledged drawing. And most importantly, I can't resolve my issues. I can see my mistakes. I can see my errors. I can cringe, but I cannot correct them. When you make an error or a mistake on something you've done, redraw what you've done better. If you're saying you understand where the error is, the neck's too short, the hand's too big, the proportion's out, redraw that same drawing. Don't do it quickly. Do it slowly. Take your time. Um, if you understand the mistakes and you know how to create, correct them, then don't just say um, you're going to do it in your next drawing. Try to redraw what you've just done and a better version. Slowly get that feeling for it. Take your time with it. You're starting to give up because of the anger of seeing the errors and not the corrections. Um, fine. Take a month out, mate. Go do something else. Pick up another hobby. Go play guitar. Go for it. And I can drink enough tea. <laughs> I can't drink enough tea or draw enough or choke the negative thoughts out of my own mind to draw. Well, it sounds like, Hogmaster, you might just have deep-seated emotional problems um so yeah talk to somebody about that i mean have you tried drinking more tea um but years have been wasted so at least it was an experience life is an experience um the act of getting older is just dealing with loss in different stages because everything gets worse and then you die so welcome to life hogmaster welcome on board blue listen says can you do an sas for rias from high school d times d on the list brandon flores what would your starter pokemon and why did you choose it and do a Pokemon called Miltank for an SAS. Maybe, maybe, maybe. My first Pokemon was, in fact, Bulbasaur. That's the one I collected in Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue back on the uh, old school days. And the one I went outside my house and collected when I downloaded Pokemon Go. Because I used to just love the idea of a dinosaur and a plant working together. That just blew my mind as a kid. I loved it. So yeah, I'm a Bulbasaur type guy. Uh, Finn the Fishbowl says, Yo, homeboy, Mikey, can you tell me a good place to watch anime? Well, apparently somebody's just been suggesting kiss anime down in the comments so maybe there let me know what you know and zero freezer says hey mikey is it good to take a break from drawing of course it is just like i said absolutely is and play video games once in a while yeah anything you love doing even if you love it it's important to take a break from it i think that's i couldn't lay that in any harder like i mentioned this really briefly i love doing this youtubing but next year i'm probably going to take a break a really not on like a massive one but in January, I might just take January off and maybe pre like record a load of video gaming stuff or something like that.
but just I won't be doing any uploading or any YouTubing in January. I'll probably work on my own projects or try to make an animation so that in February I'll have something awesome. Um, but I think even if you love something, it's important to take a break. It helps give you a bit of balance and lets you explore other stuff of your life. So yeah, breaks are just as important as working hard. Alex Sorellis says, I've been trying to do more marker sketches for my Copics. You have Copics. I'm jealous. That's really cool. So during the episode, I'm drawing a recreation of a book cover from the Innocent Mage. Very good. And Panda God says, eh, Ido Sensei Mikey, are you leaving us in January? Oh, shit. Oh, fucking hell. I've literally just been talking about that. Your comments are weirdly psychic. Cries in bedroom, hugging Mikey wife's pillow. That's proper creepy. Have you ever done any music? Only the songs I sing on my time lapse bit, which are fucking cringe. And yeah, it's only a break that I'll probably have in January because nobody earns any YouTube money then. Um, and I'll just get to work on other projects instead of... Because every day I come home from work, I'm doing drawing and YouTube videos and I need to like try to save what little social life I've got left as well. Um, but otherwise, that's it. We've done it. We've managed to get an episode back down to a normal length of time. I'm so pleased. Thank you very much, each and every one of you, for your lovely, delicious comments. I can't quite remember what we were going to say that question. Oh, yeah. Normal cell-drawn anime versus 3D animation that's made to look like it's still like in a cartoon anime style. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you find it's really good for mecha anime because it's so intricate? Or do you just hate the fact that it really bulks out and reduces the emotional impact of characters' facial designs and other stuff? Let me know. All right, you lovely people. Thanks along. Hashtag hardcore crew. Hashtag mug of tea. Bloody love you guys. Uh, let me know what's going on with your lives, what artwork you've been working on, what projects you've got going on. And uh, I'll have a little catch up with all of you next time round next Wednesday in another episode. -y. See you later. Take care. <laughs>